Today, we're visiting a large family farm. I will have another veterinarian working with me today, uh, Dr. Kelly Gaughan. We will both be ultrasounding. I get great satisfaction from treating that individual animal, but on certain days, it's all about to hurt. Dr. Olson has been with us for probably as long as I am old, and I don't want to date him on that, but I mean, I consider him a part of his, our, our family, and I think he's a very approachable veterinarian and doesn't hesitate to come down after hours or call or anything like that. It 100% is a family farm. We milk just under 4,000 cows, and we've got about, I think now it's about around 5,000 young stock cattle. So all these girls are going to be milked right now? Dairy cows, in order for them to produce milk, we have to get them pregnant. We like to have these girls have a calf roughly every 12 and a half to 13 and a half months. She'll be milking roughly for, for 305 days and then she would be dry or she'd be on vacation where she wasn't milking for two months. For pregnancy examination, I used to do all manual palpation. I still do that, but I ultrasound. The ultrasound, because I have an image, I can actually see the uterus and the fetus. I can gain more information. I'm just seeing one, so no twins. She's good. And this farm has an incredibly high pregnancy rate, meaning we're at about 26, 27 yeah. right now, which is kind of Sometimes off. higher than that, too. It's yeah. off the charts. Um, a normal pregnancy rate, I think the national average right now is about 16%. And for them to be at 26, 27, a test to how well the farm is run and, uh, and how healthy the cows are. These cows are either at the feed bunk eating, or if you notice, they're all laying down which is a great thing. Cows should either be eating or resting. These stalls are incredibly comfortable, so they like to come in and lay right down. Some of them do have names here. And Jackie oftentimes will be palpating a cow or working on a cow, and she'll remember that cow from when she was a calf, you know, three and four years ago. With any successful farm, you have to have heart in it. It doesn't cost anything more just to treat them well, manage them well, make sure they're taken care of. And I just, I don't understand why people wouldn't. Really, I mean, these are like pets to us. Treat them as you would want to be treated, quite honestly. Our main emphasis is on healthy animals and how they're fed and how they're housed, how they're co-mingled with their pen make, makes all the difference in the world. You have short-term goals on farms. Is this cow pregnant or isn't she? But you also have long-term goals. Are they able to meet their goals as far as animal numbers, production? What will that farm look like in five to 10 years? And we like to be involved in that process. Our main priority is to take good care of our animals. I mean, that's what we strive, that's why we are successful, is a healthy cow, you know, and... And, and happy, healthy cows uh, translate yeah. to a good product, a, a safe product at the supermarket.